Welcome back. This is the ninth and final video for Chapter 7, Arrays. In this video, we're going to talk about the uh, sorting lines example that's in the book. So what we're going to do is draw a square display window, create an array of float values that have one element per pixel of the width of the window. We'll initialize all those values in the, in the array uh, to be in the range between zero and height. We'll do that randomly. And then for every value in the array, we'll draw a corresponding vertical line on the screen. And that height should be equal to the value in the array. The x coordinate should be equal to the value's index in the array. Um, importantly, the color of each line is going to be based on the value of the array as well. Then when the user clicks the mouse button, we're going to do an insertion sort on that array and that will cause the lines to be redrawn accordingly so that the smaller lines will be on the left and the taller ones are on the right. <coughs> so here's our initial idea. If this square represents our display window, we're going to have a series of lines inside the window. So we'll have some lines that are tall, some lines that are smaller, some lines that are in between, but they'll be all over the place, sort of in a random fashion. Really no predictability here. Okay? And unlike the way I've drawn them right now, their color will be based on their height. And so we'll have ones that are uh, closer to the left-hand side of the array in the sorted version, which would mean things that are shorter will be more blue. And in the sorted version at the end, things that are closer to the right or taller will be more red. And then somewhere in the middle, there'll be sort of a purple color. Once the user clicks on the mouse button, then my display window will still be the same size. Now what we'll have is a series of lines that are uh, ascending in height. So we'll have bluer lines down here that will get bigger. And then in the middle will be other lines that are gradually getting bigger, sort of a purplish color. <coughs> and toward the end, we'll have lines that are the taller ones and the red ones. Now let's take a look at just one line so we can get an idea of the coordinates that we'll be using to draw each line. So we'll just pick a line here and we'll draw it in red. Okay, what we need to know is the uh, end point coordinates for each end of the line. And so the x coordinate of each end of the line is going to be our index variable i. So in other words, its position in the array will dictate its position on the screen left and right. Its y coordinate will just be the bottom pixel of the screen, which would be height minus 1. Its top y coordinate is going to be a little bit different because basically I need to know that distance right there. And so that would be the height of the window minus the value that's in the array at that position. So that will be the y coordinate of this other end, the height of the window minus the value in the array at position i. The last thing we'll need to know is what is the color of that line? And so what our color will be, will be a scaled value, and it's going to be based on the value in the array. And so we'll have that scaling work so that it runs from blue through purple to red, where the smaller lines will be blue, the taller lines will be red. Okay, now we can look at the methods that we'll need for this particular program. 
We'll start with uh, three built-in methods that we obviously need in this case. We need a setup method that's going to do the housekeeping chores like creating the size of the window. The draw method which will just display the contents of the array at those vertical lines that we just talked about. And a mouse clicked method which will basically sort the lines. We're going to take advantage of two methods that we've already created in the process of these videos. And the first one will be the create random array method that we talked about earlier. It's going to create array an array of random floats um, that will be uh, used to represent our lines. So that will be called from the setup method. And we're going to use the insertion sort method that we've looked at before. We covered that algorithm and the method itself in a separate video, but that method will be called from the mouse clicked method. Now most of the algorithms are either super simple or algorithms that we've already covered before, so we're just <coughs> going to focus on the draw algorithm here. And In particular, let's look at this for loop, which is doing the actual drawing. We're going to uh, set our color here. So remember we're going to take this array value and somehow we're going to scale it to be a color value between 0 and 255. And then we'll take that color value, use it as the red component, and use its inverse as the blue component of a new color that we'll set the line color to. And then Finally, we'll draw our line for that particular value of i. And in this case, we're only going to focus on one of the methods in terms of the actual code. You can see the rest of the code in the textbook. But in this case, we're going to look at how we actually do that scaling of that value. And in that case, we're going to use the map method call, which is a handy way to scale one value from one range to another range. Okay, So map takes five parameters. The first one is our value that we're going to scale. and In our case that's array value sub i. The next two parameters tell us the range that that value is in. And so that array value is between 0 and height minus 1. And the next two, the final two parameters in the map method call tell us the range that we're going to scale that into. So ultimately we're going to take our color variable or our line variable rather, array sub i, take it from a coordinate type value between 0 and height minus 1, scale it proportionally to be a value between 0 and 255. And then we can use that to set our color just like we talked about in the algorithm and draw our line. Okay, real quick, we'll just show you what that alg or program looks like when we run it. Okay, so here's our processing program to do this line insertion sort. Um, we won't look at the code in great detail, but we create a background color, a reference for our object array. In the setup method, size the window, create a random array of uh, floats, width of them that go between zero and height, and then in our draw method, erase the background, and this is the code that we looked at just before to scale the color value and to draw the line. <coughs> when the mouse is clicked, we'll do the insertion sort uh, algorithm to rearrange our lines, and uh, really that's the rest of the program. So here's what it looks like to begin with. The lines are sort of scattered all over the place from small to tall. And when we click the mouse, the array is sorted, and that causes the lines to be drawn in a different order. And now they run sort of almost in a perfect diagonal line from left to right. Blue for the short lines, red for the tall, purple in the middle. And there we go. You can see all the code details in the text.